outro cast. Jane, uh, good afternoon for me. Is it good morning for you? Yeah, it is. It's no. 10 25 i think yeah so still coffee o'clock for you it is actually i have it right here okay yeah, <laughs> i do too uh good day for you so far aside from answering the same questions over and over and over again you know honestly i love answering questions so bring them on i i love it okay uh, how about you how's your day going non-stop but good and it's a pleasure to be speaking with you because you have a new movie with an awesome title to it it's a wonderful night yeah. Was that a working title or is that always the name of the movie all along? No, that was the name of the movie all along. At one point, to, you know, not reveal the full title, we went by knife. Just, you know, so I truly feel like it was so that Michael could post on Instagram while we were, you know, filming like little like snippets and be like, hashtag knife, you know. But that was that was the only time it was kind of anything different. It's always been It's a Wonderful Knife which I love. It's cool to see that you're able to go between lighthearted and dark projects and nobody really bats an eye with all that. When did you kind of realize that you were able to do the kicks, but also yellow jackets? Oh my God, the kicks. Wow, you're bringing it back. All the soccer projects. <laughs> all the soccer projects. Yeah, I don't know how I got into all of the soccer projects because Played soccer probably for one year when I was eight years old. So don't know how that happened. But yeah, you know, I think a lot of it was me growing up. I'm a child actor. The kicks was something that I did when I was in middle school. So I'm like, wow, bringing it back. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was such a fun, lighthearted project. And to be honest, I do love the darker stuff. So I, that's why I feel like as I've gotten older, I've kind of skewed more to that just because I like being dark and moody, um, you know, but I do think it's fun to play both. And I love that, especially in It's Wonderful Knife, there's these comedic elements that are in there with the dark. So I right. love kind of being able to combine both of those. Yeah. So how much of the Winnie character is there in Jane, the human being? You know, it's funny that you say that because I've seen it with my girlfriend a few times and there are some moments where she'll be like, that, that was you. I think probably uh, my cackle, that's a big one. I do cackle like that in real life, unfortunately, um, <laughs> is what it is. Uh, my best friend actually texted me because she'd seen it. She lives in a different state. She's like, yeah, it was the cackle for me. That's how I knew it was you. So I think the cackle, I can't, can't think of anything else, but there is, my girlfriend is a really big football fan. And when I say the line, oh, I, he threw for six touchdowns, she always laughs at that. Just, you would never say that. You're not a football fan. Well, so. if you watch Married with Children, did Al Bundy have four touchdowns in a single game or is it six? I don't know. Well, that's one of the famous Married with Children. I know yeah. Things. But back to you. So when did you actually film It's a Wonderful Knife? We filmed it mid-March through mid-April and we filmed it in Vancouver. Oh, okay. I find one in three films is in Vancouver these days. Yeah, that would be accurate. That would be very accurate. For me, it's like three out of three films filmed for Jane is in Vancouver. <laughs> really? So Yellow Jackets is Vancouver? I know that's not yep. a film, but... Yellow Jackets was Vancouver. Uh, Knife was Vancouver. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So when you get to film in the same city over and over again, obviously when you're doing a film or TV project, you're there to work. But anytime mm -hmm. you get spend a lot of time in the city, you go, okay, that's my favorite coffee place. That do you, do you have that kind of a comfort with Vancouver at this point? Oh yeah, uh, I lived actually for Yellow Jackets for season one. I lived in downtown Vancouver in a really nice area for six months in an apartment. So I got really really familiar with the area. There's this uh, this one area. My apartment would look out onto bars. And so I would just watch drunk people come home all night. And that was the greatest thing. I loved doing that. Uh, there is this one Asian, it's kind of like an Asian fusion place. Vancouver is great for Asian food. Uh, it's called Jingle Bao. Love that, especially if you're brutally hungover. It's a really great place to go. Uh, maybe don't go biking for like 
five miles afterwards through Stanley Park like I did. But, you know, uh, yeah, so that's one. What are the other ones? I, I'm forgetting. But it's also nice just having knowing people in the industry up there. Uh, one of our ADs I'd worked with on Yellow Jackets. And the first day I saw him, I was like, Cal, and ran up and gave him a big hug. So that's really comforting, especially when you're in a new country, new city. It's nice to be able to, you know, know that you know people there. Absolutely. Where's the second most frequently filmed place for you, destination? Uh, if I were to guess, it would be North Carolina. No, actually, it's LA. Funny enough, I get to I get to be home. Uh, truth be told, that I did last year was filmed in LA. Uh, the Kicks was filmed in LA. Um, yeah, it's really only I feel like in the past few years that a lot of things have kind of branched out and started to go other places probably because of the tax write-off more people do if i had to take a guess <laughs> well two quick questions and then i let you go the first one is no it's beautiful knife is the newest project for us it's new for you it's old are we allowed to know what's coming next or where to look for you next not quite yet but do keep an eye out do keep an eye out, but I'm not really allowed to say anything yet. Um, I'm also, you know, we have been on strike, so there's that whole thing. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for what's going next. Keep but waiting for Instagram or for the Variety or Hollywood Reporter announcement thing? I, who knows? Okay. Who knows? We'll see. Know. <laughs> and then the, the last question is, and this is a random one, what's the last concert that you went to for fun? Hozier. I saw Hozier at uh, Petco Stadium in San Diego. That was incredible. It was great. Wow. Is is this the second album from Hozier or the third album from Hozier? I think I'm it's the, the third. Spot. No, no, I'm pretty sure it's the third because he has the first one that has Take Me to Church on it. I always forget the name of it. And then the third one is Wasteland Baby. And then this one is Unreal on Earth. You knew good that. Fan. Like that. Good fan, right here. <laughs> yeah, you're not one of those people that's wearing the shirt, but then can't name the two songs. So, exactly. like, well, Jane, thank you for your time. Congrats on this new film, and really looking forward to the eventual embargo lifting, where we can know what's next from you. And looking forward exactly, to your three too. soccer projects. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Thanks, thank Jen. you. Outro cast.